Hello, I'm Dennis with TheGarageEngineer.com and today we're going to be working on our utility trailer. At the Garage Engineer headquarters we have about five acres of land, most of its fields that we cut pretty regularly. Right now we only have a tractor mower which does the job but it takes a long time to cut. So we've decided to upgrade to a tractor and a bush hog. Uh, so in preparations for that we need a utility trailer to get it on the property. So that's what we're going to be working on today. I found uh, an ad for an estate sale last weekend and this trailer was one of the items that was for sale so I wanted to go take a look at it and it was in pretty decent shape but with any used equipment there's always something that you need to fix uh, before you put it into production. This utility trailer is 6 feet across and 16 foot of usable bed. It, it does have, we'll see in the back, a dovetail so that I measured it from the front to the end of the dovetail. It has two uh, upgraded uh, ramps and I think he put this metal box on here which is pretty neat. The big thing I've been looking over though the problem is is the wiring harness. As you see right here it's worn away. Well, that's an example of what not to do when unhooking your trailer. So remember, unhook your safety lines. It does show you that the previous owner did upgrade the safety hooks uh, to a more substantial hook size. So that that's always a bonus. So this is what I found on Amazon. It's a Mick tuning seven-way trailer cable with a junction box. I was just going to replace the uh, plug and the and extend the line. But I saw this on uh, the Amazon listing that had the junction box with it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Plug looks decent enough. Doesn't look too cheap. And uh, you get grommets. There's four, there's four holes in the junction box, each with a grommet, um, so you can uh, run your wires through. So let's take a look. So inside the junction box, I uh, don't see, it doesn't have a rubber gasket around the edge, so we might have to add that later, but here are those uh, uh, stop blocks, here's the one that was missing there, and then you see it's already pre-wired, pre-color coordinated with uh, all the uh, wires matching up to the seven-way plug, so that's pretty nice. And then you also got these uh, screw downs too to support once you stick your wire through then you can tighten them down so they don't pull out as easily. So, so I mean it's pretty simple but it's got all the little fixtures in it. 
Oh, also, it, it does have these uh, other grommets that are have the holes pre-cut out, which is pretty good, but if it, yours doesn't come with it, you can always just make a little X slit in here and then run your wire through, and it probably works just as good, if not better, because you're going to cut it to the size of the wire that you're actually going to be running through there. So if you only have one one or two wires, that might this hole might be a little be a little be a little bit too big for what you're running. So you might not need it, but you came with it. It's fine. I've got my shop helper here. What's your name? Greg. Greg. Greg's my helper today. And right now, I was just telling Greg that we were trying to figure out where we're going to put our uh, junction box in our new plug. So here's the old one, and I was fiddling with it. And there's quite a few issues. Uh, it wasn't this bad. I cut it open to take a look at the wiring. Um, but this the brake wire was... Uh, I had to... It was all messed up so I cut it just to junction it because I was testing the lights Okay, so I think what we're going to do, we can't find a good spot for the junction box, so all we're going to do is temporarily hook it up so we can test the wiring, because uh, I think we're going to need new bulbs, and then we'll go from there. Okay, go ahead and pull the, plug, pull the old plug out. So this is the wiring diagram that came with the instructions, so we'll we'll base everything off of that. Now, the wires that we have off the trailer, I'm just guessing right now, so uh, we're going to hook it up the way I think it should be, and then we'll test it when we hook up the vehicle and put the bolts in. So as you see our wiring is not lining up. The trailer wire wiring is uh, one way and uh, the, the plug wire is a different color. So that's why I was checking to see what the trailer wire scheme was. Okay, go ahead and tighten it up. Yeah, go ahead. Just a little bit, that's good. Alright, so ne what's the next color? Next color is... What, what do you want to do down here? Down here? Red. You want to do the red one? So the red... Goes with... The red is the running lights. So the running tail lights is green on the plug. So you got to take it off first. Okay, after we tested all the lights, what, what did we test? Do you remember? The brakes, we tested the, uh, the turns. The turn signals. signals, yes. And then the headlights, right? Uh, yeah. So, we determined that the wiring's working, but we're missing a few. And I think it's the bulbs, so we're going to get new bulbs. And then we are going to test it again. So I th And then we'll button up the wiring so it's waterproof. So, until then, see ya.